Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Tuesday, the 14th of September, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. Glad to have you guys here. And you know, we're going to get started right away here. We're going to open up the charts right here. And I'm going to talk about what I think is going on. This is a consumer price index. And what what you can see here is a massive shoot up in, in prices, you know, up consumer price index is it went all the way up to 5.3 percent consumer price inflation but you see what's happened here on the very tip on the very end and it's just about when I told you guys hey you know I said the, the foot's off the accelerator the, the economy's decelerating the, they've taken their foot off the gas well you see it right there and it's showing right up in the consumer price index which is coming down toward five percent this is called disinflation uh, when this happens, you know, uh, it, it's called disinflation, and that uh, you can see it on the end there turning down. Everything's turning down very, very rapidly, guys. And I want to tell you what I think's going on. Picture in your mind that the Fed's like a giant octopus, okay, and it's got all these tentacles coming off, thousands of tentacles coming off of it. It's got all these little baby octopuses on the ends of these tentacles who are feeding off the cheap, free, easy money that the Fed's producing and engorging themselves and growing fat on it. But but what is that money? All it is is just digits. It doesn't represent anything real in the real, tangible world. So you got to understand something about very, very rich people out there. They have a lot of money. They're very cheap. I like to get everything at the cheapest price absolutely possible. So, what I think is going on is the Fed's now went through a cycle of engorging them with money. Now, they are not the Fed. They are separate entities from the Fed, but they're connected to the cheap, easy money pool that the Fed produces. So it's like a second party, you know. And we have the Fed doing it, too. You know, all the big big shots in the Fed right now are all selling their stocks. What do they know is coming? So I think what we're doing, what they're doing is, is they're going through this cycle sort of a thing where they produce a lot of cheap, easy money for all their constituents involved. You know, all these little octopuses that are connected uh, uh, to the tentacles. Not for you guys out there. But no, for the big guys, you know, and they're getting richer and richer and richer. But then what do they do with all that money? Well, what the Fed does then is then they choke off the money supply. All of a sudden, like, what happens is everything spirals out of control. And instead of having the inflation that we just had, all of a sudden we have a deflation. Well, what does that actually mean in real world terms? It means financial things, things in the financial system, like silver, gold. Uh, cryptocurrencies, land, everything start, the bubbles all start to pop, and the price drops. Well, these octopuses that are connected to the Fed money supply then can buy up everything on the cheap. Now, I've been sitting there thinking, you know, to myself, hey, you know, why doesn't, like, for the last year, couple years, I've been thinking, why doesn't some rich guy come along, you know, that's got tons of money, and buy up all the silver and try to corner the market like the Hunt Brothers did. Why not? Wouldn't take that much, just a few billion dollars worth of silver, real physical. <clears throat> so I got thinking to myself, why don't they do that? Well, I think they're waiting for something, and I think they've been waiting for a long time. Now, you got to understand, rich people, besides being very, very cheap, they're also very, very patient. I think they're all in the know. Maybe, uh, um, and, and I think that they're all waiting for something. What are they waiting for? Maybe they're waiting for this last great de deflation that the Fed is going to feed them so that they can feed with the money that they've created. So they collect all the money. The Fed just pumps it all out to them, free, free, cheap, easy money. And they're sitting on these big bags of money, bags and bags and bags of money everywhere, these little octopuses. And then what they do is when the Fed, the big octopus, creates a major deflation, then they take all that ill-rotten, ill-gotten gains that they got, tons and tons of money, and they buy everything up on the cheap. But they do it in a way where you guys can't take advantage of it. 
because it all happens so fast. And all they have to do is they don't even have to push a mouse button to buy. They got their robots, their little bots all set up ready to buy when the time is right. The Fed creates the right time for them and they buy it all up on the cheap and then what they do is then the Fed comes around on the other side of that and prints a whole bunch more easy money again. Wash, rinse, repeat. And it's like wash, rinse, repeat. I'm not going to say S-C-R-E-W, but the little guy. That's what they're doing to the little guy. And, and, and it's like wash, rinse, repeat. And meanwhile, what happens is they get pumped up richer, 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 richer. And we go down poor, 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 poor. This is the game they're playing. But they need that, that central octopus. Without that central octopus, they can't play this game anymore. So I think they're getting ready for something right now. I think that I, I think that there's a deflation coming. And the Fed decides how far they're going to let it go. How deep they're going to let it cut. But this is the deflation I've been expecting for many years. I've been talking about it on my channels. I call it a, a deflationary spike event. And this is the trigger for the hyperinflation. This is going to act as the trigger. Because on one side of it right here, when, when everything rolls over into deflation, they can't let the system completely purge or it would completely stop and it would remove them from power. It would destroy the octopus, in other words. The octopus will not let itself be destroyed. The octopus knows how far it can let this go before it turns it off with money printing again. Uh, ben Bernanke said it best. He said, if we have to, we'll to fight deflation, we'll dump money from helicopters. That's why he got called Helicopter Ben. But all these Fed chairmen think the same way. They think, well, if we get start to get deflation, and deflation rears its ugly head, we'll dump the money. You know, again, you know. So, in this game, you can't win against them. This is like playing Monopoly with a kid who owns the bank. <laughs> you let him be banker. You let one kid be banker. And if he's a, a cheater, you can't win Monopoly against him. Trust me, it's impossible. And this is what's happening with the Fed. You're trying to play Monopoly with the Fed, and they own the Monopoly board. They own all the money. They own the bank. Silver prices today. 2373 and it's up two cents on the day so far see they might knock the heck out of this we get a deflation and we might see the deflate the silver price and gold price go down to the cheapest price and that's what the rich guys want they want the cheapest price available and then they'll come in with just the just their bots will just buy it all up all the physical and then they'll take take it all you go right now you go into your local coin store or whatever they got supply did you know these guys can buy that up from under you in other words you might all of it in just one day poof gone these rich guys who got all this money they could buy it all in one day but they don't want to buy it right now they want it cheaper than this they want it down as cheap as they can possibly get it and then on the other side of that they want to get as much as they possibly can for it they'll sell at the peak this is how the rich get rich they're smart and they are well informed and they all inform one another too if you're in that loop or circle they all whisper to one another, hey, 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 hold on, don't buy silver just yet. We're gonna have a little deflation. We're gonna that's the time to buy it. And they'll all and they all know. They all know and we don't know. We're out of the loop. So if you're gonna get any silver, I'd suggest you get it. Well the getting's good. Even if you gotta pay a little bit more, <clears throat> on the other side of this, you'll have it. And you won't care what you paid for it. Ultimately. And yeah, the price might go lower, and you're sitting there holding it. But you got to think what comes on the other side of that. That's when you're going to see your three, four, five, six hundred dollar silver is on the other side of this deflation that's happening right now. So you got to be patient. I remember I told you that rich people are patient. You got to be patient too. You know, and maybe you can't win against them because they've got them everything rigged, and it's not in your favor. But at least 
go out with a fight. At least get in there and get your little piece of the pie. Maybe they'll gobble up most of the pie, but maybe they'll just leave a few crumbs, and the smart ones of us will be able to get those few crumbs. Okay. Cryptocurrency. Well, I didn't take a look at gold. Uh, silver's 23.78. Let's take a look at gold today. Gold is 18.04. Gold's going right up real nicely today. Uh, it's taking a little bid today. Catching a little bid. Let's take a look at cryptos today. Uh, 2089. Not bad. She's holding her own above 45,000. 45,000 is a is a watershed price right now for Bitcoin. Uh, it hasn't broken below support. We're at 46,406. So Bitcoin is looking pretty good, and the altcoins look pretty stable today. I wonder what kind of, we get a major market crash and stuff, I wonder what kind of a beating that uh, cryptocurrencies will take, if they take a beating. Uh, uh, I think everything is, is, if we get a deflate, and look, I, remember I showed you the consumer price index. Look at this tip right here. Down. You know? Things are starting to deflate. Well, it's just natural. Think about it, guys. You had money, money to spend. Unemployment insurance was coming in. You had that coming in, you know, and they're giving you bonus unemployment insurance. I think it was $500 a week or something. And then they're sending you $1,200 checks on top of that. Where is it gone now? Where is it now? It's gone. So what do you expect's going to happen? People had extra money back during, back when COVID was, you know, back a year or so ago. They had extra money. Now, all of that's been cut off. And where's the money coming from now? Now, all of a sudden, everything's drying up so fast, it make your eyes spin in your head. So that's what we're seeing with this tip right here, where, where it's going up like a rocket. And now, all of a sudden, it's going in the opposite direction. That's why. The Fed turned all the money taps on everywhere. Fed all their buddies with the money. I mean, that those $1,200 stimmy checks and stuff, that's not where the real big money went. The real big money went to the big fish. So they're sitting on piles of money right now, and, and everything's starting to deflate. The dollar's gonna go. All dollar index will go up. Uh, dollars will become scarce. Uh, all of a sudden, you, you got a deflation starting, or disinflation. Right now, we're under disinflation. That's this tip right here where you see it going down. That's disinflation because inflation is still continuing its momentum. Prices and foods still going up. See, all this has happened so fast that it hasn't had time to, to, to settle into things like food prices and stuff, which are still rapidly increasing. This deflation it's it's a, a like an elastic effect, you know. It's like uh, when your car has momentum, you know. The the inflation still has momentum in the economy, but uh, it's losing momentum so fast. It's, and this is what's called disinflation. That's what's happening right now. Well, let's take a look now at uh, Dow Jones. It's down 225 points today so far, and 0.65 uh, percent, or just under one percent. Uh, let's take a look now at, uh, at crude oil, 70.86 right now. Uh, okay, move index today. 53.10. And the move index is staying low. We're going to take a look at bonds and rates. And what we're looking at is we're looking at fallen yields. Now, this is substantial. The bond yields have fallen substantially. Uh, the U.S. 10 years at one26 it's fell 5.6 basis points. Now, that's a big drop today in bond yields. Uh, U.S. 30-year has fell 6.7 basis points. That is a net positive for gold when yields go down, you know. Uh, and so what do we see with the gold price today? There you go. It's going up. Okay, let's take a look now at the dollar index. Dollar is at 92.54, and it's descending today it's 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 going down but just slowly with some bounces to the upside so yeah all the tricks that they pull you know 
you guys are going to catch just a few crumbs from the big pie that these fat pigs are, are, are slobbering at. If you're going to catch just those few crumbs, you got to be quick on your feet if you're the normal people out there. Just to catch a few crumbs. But what about the people who are just off in space someplace and they're they're listening to their iPod or whatever and they've been and they're being entertained by the system and they're not paying attention? They're not even going to catch any crumbs. What's going to happen to those people? They're going to end up sitting on the curb with one of those little uh, signs made uh, from cardboard that says uh, I I work for food or whatever you know. I mean it's just it's just sick because they're trusting in the system they're trusting they've let the fox run the hen house that's what's happened and they're trusting in the fox the fox being the federal reserve the fox is running the hen house this is a situation where we're going to look back in history at some point we're going to say what were we thinking what were we thinking they screwed us over so bad they, we ended up not having a, a house, uh, not having a life, because they were basically stealing with both hands right under our noses, and we couldn't even see it. And they were taking everything we got. They were taking our, our shoes off of our feet. Thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the very next show. Bye-bye.